Okay, in part three of the IELTS speaking test, pay special attention to the type of question that the examiner asks you. This will help you to use the right grammar structures in your answer. There are three types of questions that you need to be careful with. Questions about changes, questions about hypothetical situations, and questions about comparing and contrasting. Let's look at the first type, questions about changes. The examiner may ask, how have shopping habits changed in recent years? If you get such a question, you need to think carefully about the tenses that you are going to use in your answer. If you want to talk about a current trend, use the present continuous. Well, I think people are shopping much more now than in the past. If you want to say how a situation has changed over time, up to the present moment, use the present perfect. I think people's uh, shopping habits have changed dramatically in recent years. If you want to talk about something that people did regularly in the past but not today, use used to or didn't used to. I think people didn't used to shop very much in the past. Now let's look at hypothetical questions. The examiner may ask you a question like, which countries would you like to visit in the future? If you get such a question, you need to think about the structure you are going to use in your answer. If you talk about an imaginary situation in the present or future, use would plus infinitive. I think that Scotland would be a very interesting country to visit. If you want to talk about an imaginary situation with if, use a second conditional structure. We form the second conditional in the following way. If plus past simple, would plus infinitive. If I had the opportunity, I think I would visit Japan. Let's look at questions about comparing and contrasting. The examiner may ask you to compare and contrast something. For example, do you prefer to live in the city or countryside? What are the advantages and disadvantages of shopping online? How does London compare to your hometown? If you get these kinds of questions, you should try to use appropriate connecting words and comparative structures in your answer. If you want to introduce a contrast, use words and phrases like however, on the other hand, or though. Shopping online is very convenient. You can do it from the comfort of your home. However, in my opinion, it is not a good way to shop for things like clothes. If you want to compare two different things, use while or whereas. I prefer to live in the city than in the countryside. In the city you have more shops and places of entertainment, whereas in the countryside there isn't much to do. If you want to express a comparison using adjectives, Use appropriate comparative and superlative structures. It's natural to use qualifying words like far, a lot, a bit, a little, slightly. The plane is far more expensive than the train. To say one thing is less than another thing, you can also say not as as. For example, my hometown is not as big as London. If you want to say that two things are the same, you can say the same as. Prices in Moscow are nearly the same as in London. If you want to say that two things are similar, you can say similar to. The weather in Italy is similar to the weather in Greece. If you want to say that two things are different, you can say different than, or different to, or different from. The weather in Singapore is different than the weather in Russia.